Hello, I'm back again. Uh, it's Henry and Henry. Today we're going to talk about trigger press and trigger pull. I have noticed um, a lot of chatter by uh, newer people who are buying firearms who are confused or not aware of how you're supposed to touch the trigger and how much pressure, where to put your finger, um, even trigger uh, manipulation, uh, how the trigger works and how that feels or does not feel. So what I'm going to do is demonstrate, I've got four different firearms here today. I've got two pistols and I've got two rifles. Uh, one of the pistols is a normal conventional pistol. It's a 1911, but it's a normal semi-automatic pistol. The other pistol is the air gun, uh, the Walther CP99 that we used in the previous video. It is powered by CO2 and I'm going to use that as a demonstrator as well. And then I have my hunting rifle. Sorry, I've got some noise outside. I've got my hunting rifle, which is a Marlin 1895. It's a lever action. And then we have, um, I've got my Sig Sauer carbine, um, Sig 556, and it too is a rifle. And they all have different trigger uh, manipulation or trigger wall, uh, trigger press. So this will hopefully help you uh, better understand about triggers and how to transfer this to your own use with your own firearms. So to get started, I'm going to begin with the Walther. Right now the action is open. The safety is on, as you can see, and there is no magazine. There's no magazine in the well. So this gun is uh, completely inert. It is safe to fire in the sense of pulling the trigger and no persons will be harmed or injured. Um, I will also be manipulating these with both my left hand and my right hand at times. I'm, I happen to be ambidextrous, but uh, as it goes to manipulating the triggers, I'll be able to, to ma manipulate them both at the same time uh, with either hand. So with this one, I wanna demonstrate just what happens when you touch the trigger and the firearm recoils. So I'm going to, whoop, I'm going to release the slide. I'm going to use my right hand and I'm going to touch the trigger like so, like so. And what I'm going to do is rotate around so that you can see how deep I am into the trigger. Okay. You can go like this, but if I do that, Notice how bent my finger is. See that? So I have to go a little bit deeper in for me in order to have a good fit and a good positioning of my finger pad on the trigger. And I'm going to take the firearm off safe, finger off the trigger. All right, taking the firearm off safe. Now I'm going to put my finger back to it. I'm holding it like I would normally. And I'm going to, if you look at the tip of my finger, I'm going to move it very slowly. I'll let you know when I'm moving it. I'm gonna move it very slowly until I get to a point where I feel that there's no more movement allowed, and then I'll go just beyond that and the gun will fire. So here's my movement, I'm going slow. I am moving right there. That is what's referred to as, quote, the wall. This is actually the, the break point. I'm right at the sear for the gun. And if I push forward through it, right now I'm holding, but if I push forward through it, the gun will fire. Or it should have fired. I think I'm out of gas. Let's try it again. There we go. Once more, I'm pushing through. I'm gonna push through to the wall and right there's the wall. So I'm holding at the wall and then I'm gonna push through the wall now and the gun fires, all right? And now notice I'm gonna hold the trigger back while I cock and then I'm going to release the trigger and there's a click, there's an audible click. And I'm gonna go push back against the wall and the gun fires. 
I'll do this once more and I'm going to get close and I want to see if you can hear. If you can hear that click. All right, so here goes the release. Right there, that's the click. And I'm gonna push back, go to the wall. I'm at the wall and fire, okay? Put it back on safe, open the action and put it down. All right, so that was the air gun, the BB pistol. Next, we'll do the 1911. Right, use my right hand because you guys are over there. All right, so 1911, I have a frame safety that's right here. Fire, safe. Fire, safe, okay? I'm going to insert my finger as I would normally at my normal tension point, and right now I'm on safe, so the gun will not fire. See, I'm pulling the trigger and I got nothing. All right, so I'm gonna thumb it down fire and I'm going to press against the trigger now right now I'm not moving I'm just my fingers just on the trigger but I'm going to press against the trigger I'm going to get to that wall and then you're going to see the hammer you're going to see the hammer which is right here go forward and drop it has an external hammer and here we go so I'm going to put my finger on the trigger I am pressing very slowly And that's it. Now I'm going to hold. That's recoil and no, if the gun had been loaded. And I've got to show you guys, it's an empty magazine. The action was open. All of these guns are dry. So if the gun had fired and loaded, it reloaded itself automatically, I would take my finger, release, slow, boom, right there to click. And right there, I'm at the wall. It's barely any movement. And then boom, I'll let you guys see and hear this up close. Click, boom, once more, click, boom. This time I'll take my finger completely off the trigger. I'll put my finger back in. Just take up that slack, and that slack is called pre-travel. So you see that right there? See on my finger? Oh, and I went past the wall. So that right there is pre-travel. So I take out that pre-travel, and then I'm right there at the wall. And the gun fires. Okay? All right, the next will be the uh, lever action. You guys have seen this one before in the videos as well. Action open, the lever is forward, the safety is on. If it were off, you would see the red band. Red, you're dead. So I'm gonna leave the safety on. This particular gun has what's called a cross bolt safety. So it physically blocks the hammer from dropping and touching the firing pin. All right, so I'm gonna close the action. Manipulate this so that I can use my right hand so that you can see. Oh, actually, I'll just use my left hand. All right, so the action is, the lever is closed. The action is, action's closed. All right, I'm going to put my finger on the trigger and I'm going to just, and that's it. There was very little pre-travel. In fact, I'm gonna, yeah, see the trigger there? That little bit of movement. Or here, I'll do it from the opposite side. That toggling. Put the trigger back. There's very little pre-travel. And then the hammer drops. So, going to the wall on this particular gun. Going to the wall on this particular gun is very short. And then the hammer drops. 
All right. And then last, this gun as well. This is the carbine. Um, action is open. Nothing in the magwell. Firearm is on safe. All right. I'm going to close the action. Okay. I'm going to take the gun off the safe. All right. And now I'm going to touch the trigger. That's right. Again, you guys are on my left side. So I'm going to touch the trigger. A little bit. You see that? And that's pre-travel. I'm going to take that pre-travel out. And then click. There it goes. All right. So I'm going to do it with my left hand. A little bit of pre-travel. Here I can invert it. A little bit of pre-travel. See that? That pre-travel. Now I take that slack out, that pre-travel. And now my finger is... I'm just holding that pre-travel out. I'm going to apply some pressure. And there's the wall. There's the wall. And click. We'll do it from my right hand. Take that. See that? Okay, I, I can hit it pretty aggressively. Take that pre-travel out. That slack. Now I'm at the wall. I press right up to it and click. And if I hold my finger back on it, this will be the reset. Hear that? Click. And then I'm at the wall. Clap. Pow. Once more. Release. Click. Pow. And that's it. All right, so to review, uh, trigger press is you're taking your finger, your trigger finger, whichever it may be, you're going to move your trigger fingers very, very your trigger finger very, very slowly. So I'll demonstrate that here. I will start now. and by now the guns would have fired. So as it goes to touching the trigger, you're going to just put your finger inside the trigger well. You're going to get your positioning, your positioning just so on the front face of the trigger, on the front face, okay? So you don't wanna to be too far out, otherwise you can't stay on the trigger, and you do not wanna be in and you see how much of the, the digit of my fingers is into that trigger, on that trigger? That's way too much. So you just wanna have the forward middle part of the pad of your finger. You don't wanna be back here at the knuckle and you don't wanna be up here at the nail because you can't get enough, you can't generate enough force, at least not consistently. So just right here and pull. Right here and pull. All right. If you have any questions, you guys know how to reach me. You can leave a comment in the, a, a, a response in the comments, um, or again, you can reach me online. And uh, I think that's about it. Thank you for your time.